I'm having lunch. But I wanted to intro this craziness of a video. Um, it's all over the place. It's totally different than in the beginning than what I usually do. But last weekend I was super bored and um, I got to cleaning. So you're going to see a little bit of my cleaning a makeup board. Uh, today is Saturday. I'm eating Popeyes. I've been craving it for a month. Um, today is Saturday and little dude is again with daddy. So I was solo. Y'all know I had to hit the streets. I went to 99 Cent Only and Dollar Tree and found a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a good haul for you guys. But I just wanted to start off by saying hola. Uh, starting off this video somewhat like a regular video. So I'm going to throw in the splicing in of my cleaning my makeup board and then cleaning out a closet. Uh, it's just little snippets of it. And then I'll be back with the haul after all that. Should I mukbang? Um, Hola guys! I know, what the heck? What are y'all looking at? Forgive the whirring of the fan behind me. I am in my bedroom and upstairs is very, very cold. Downstairs is only um, bearable with a fan. But I found myself going through my makeup. I've already done some swatching. Oops, I dropped it. Um, and realizing I need to do a cleanup seriously. I'm not gonna have you guys here for all of it, but look at this nonsense, fellas. Ladies, you know what I mean. This is makeup that I have been collecting. Now I did a cleanup maybe four or five months ago and it was just a real quick one. Um, I mainly did this type of thing that I have in my makeup drawers, which I go to every day. And my everyday makeup is very basic. So it's just basically, you know, very basic things. This is, These are my go-tos and little things that I use that way. But y'all know I love a bargain. Y'all know I love a sale. Y'all know I love some clearance. And between my splurging on myself on better brand things and then just splurging on myself on the name brand things we get lucky enough to find at 99 cent only and Dollar Tree, this is what happens. So, I'm going to do a cleanup. I don't know if you guys want to follow along. I may tape a little bit. I'm just trying to find something to visit with you guys with because I was at Dollar General the other day. The other day. I was just at Dollar General this afternoon. And me and little dude were cracking up and, and videoing, taping, videoing, whatever, in there. And I had a good six, seven minutes of just conversation and looking around and this uh finding awesome sales and stuff and then i dropped my phone and when i turned my phone back on the film the film the video was it was gone uh it didn't save it it saved it under some other weird format i'm not sure so i was really disappointed because you know i like to visit with y'all and take y'all along with me so i figured hey i'm home tonight like i'm ever not home on saturday night but i thought i would do a little cleaning up of my makeup. I started cleaning up uh, my little thrifty finds. Uh, there's my lamp that I uh, thrifted not too long ago. Uh, it's been in two rooms now and now it's back here. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it. Forgive any mess you guys see. Um, oh, did I ever show you guys that mirror? Come on, let's look. Forgive anything y'all see on the carpet. I have not vacuumed. This, um, Ugh. Boy, am I rock. La, 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 la. Um, this mirror. This beveled gorgeousness of a mirror I got at Walmart not too long ago. Uh, the plan was to incorporate that mirror with that lamp somewhere, and I still haven't. Anywho, back to the cleanup. I started with this because I'm just happy to sit. I happen to be sitting in front of it. And this was my Milani collection case. Now, Dollar Tree, 
a 99 cent only. It's notorious for having Milani stuff. This is all stuff I've picked up. Uh, a lot of stuff I got rid of because it was past the 12 month or 24 month little expiration stamp. A lot of them have on there. This is the stuff that is, as of four months ago was still good. Like I said, I didn't really do a really good cleanup. I just kind of looked at the expiration dates on it. And if I knew I'd had it longer than, it got tossed. And these are still the savables. And this is just my little Milani case. Those are pencil eyeshadows, which I don't really do, but every now and then, darn it, I just want to have fun. And they were a dollar. I know these came from uh, Goodwill, from Dollar Tree. These were a dollar, and you're looking at six, seven dollars, Walmart, Target, come on, man. Uh, these were all the lippies. Do y'all remember the lippy craze a while back? Well, every now and then, now I can't open it. Every now and then, uh, Dollar Tree brings out more Milani's, and 99 Cent Only is bringing out Milani's. These still have a few months. This, one of these, one of these is practically empty. But they have a few more months. They have a few more months. Um, they really do need another clear out. I love that sound. Listen. I love that sound. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I need to go through these. Look at the expiration dates again. I already know just from snooping earlier before <laughs> Ow! before I um, started uh, filming that these are gone. These are from an e.l.f. nail polish collection I was gifted two Christmases ago. And the oil and pigment are now separating and they are just no good. I could shake these till my arm falls off and they're just not going to be any good. And the same with these that I purchased either at Family Dollar or Dollar Tree. They're just not, they're not good anymore. Um, see how they've separated? See that? I mean, I can shake and shake and shake and it's just, I don't think it's gonna work. So I know for sure that definitely needs to be tossed away, but I just wanted to share a little bit about a little bit about a little bit of what I'm getting myself into this Saturday. Little dude is with daddy. So, uh, can you all see me back there? Mm -hmm. Hi, <laughs> uh, this is a little bit of what I'm gonna do today. So, it's me and Osball, he's running around here somewhere. Um, I did pick up a few little things at um Dollar General after all, so I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Look, guys, my splurge. If any of y'all know me personally, y'all know I was raised on Selena. And one of them is practically gone. But the red one, uh, y'all know me in red. But I have my better splurgies mixed in with my awesome splurgy finds. But anywho, I'm going to show you guys the... Um, I need a trash bag. I'll show you guys the uh, other stuff I picked up today in this video in a bit okay so in case anybody is interested this is what I ended up keeping and it's a lot I know but this is what I ended up keeping this is all stuff that is still good within its expiration dates brand new never used not marked with an expiration date or that still did I just show you the litter box? Sorry. Or that still have some good life to them. These are these little doohickeys I have to house my stuff in. All that makeup goes in these little container doohickeys that I thrifted. They have all those little compartments in there. So I have that. And then this over here is my splurgy stuff, like the name brandy stuff why does it look like that in here it's all scratchy but anywho this is my splurgy stuff these are my makeup brushes a lot of my makeup brushes so i have that in here i have the stuff that i am swapping i'm going to start to use now that i really you know i have my tried and trues the stuff that i use when i do a makeup but i'm like you know what i bought it i want to use it i like the colors we're going to put this into rotation Eyeshadow blush, everything I need for a face. Get in there. 
and down here too. Just stuff I want to swap out on. Look, my Dollar Treeers. One of the little nail clips. And in here is the stuff that I usually use. Like this is my go-to for sure, for sure. My foundations, my eyeliners, whatever. This is what I, ooh, need to wash that. This is what I go for. But in there, in this little thingy is what I want to start incorporating. And let me show you the last of the stuff that I have left. And this here is all I have left. Now these are jewelry. These are all my little baubles. I have two of these. Picked these up at 99 cent only. Got my big old earrings. Just stuff that I wear on occasion, but it's too pretty to get rid of. So that's my jewelry. These are my little mirrors and nail clippers. This is all lips, lipsticks. I can now see them. These are eyeshadows, uh, blushes, contours that type of thing all face lips these are also lips but this is lip pencils and lip glosses and these are lipsticks so lipsticks lipsticks lip pencils lip glosses face blushes eyes and jewelry in here is just a little basket of things. This all has a home, I just haven't put it away. My nail polishes, I need to put with my nail polishes. This I need to put with my lotions. So, I just didn't put them away. Um, and this over here is what I had left that is still good, not expired, never been used, possibly only swatched with a fingertip to see uh, the color, but it's all good. This is some of my Ipsy stuff. This is all good stuff that I just didn't want to throw away. I thought I'd let folks rummage through it, and if there's anything in there they want, they can have. But that's what I had left of my cleanup. And I did save a lot, but I threw away two and a half Walmart bags full of makeup. And what else? Two and a half bags of Walmart makeup. There was something else. I tossed away lotions and stuff like that. But yeah, it was, it was, I threw away a whole lot. So this is what I have left for anyone interested. Hi guys, it's the next day and I went from makeup clearing to this disaster. I innocently started to clean out a closet in little dude's closet actually which for some bizarre reason I ended up putting a lot of my stuff in and uh, it turned into this this huge pile of clothing that is going to be donated under this huge pile of clothing are a bunch of shoes that I no longer wear because honestly I ain't to no spiky uh, frilly buckle shoe kind of thing um, but yeah, it went from innocent cleaning to the last two hours of this nonsense. I'm at cleanup stage, uh, I mean at cleanup point. This is what's left, and this was jam-packed full of stuff, you guys. This is what's left, and this is what's weird. It's weird because I use Little Dude's Closet for my tops and jackets, and um, I... He and my oldest shared their closet. And it's just the way it happened because I used to have my bedroom up here. And when little dude transitioned into his own room, um, there was just a lot of switching around. But no switching around of closets. These are some of the shoes that I still have to find homes for that I'm keeping. That is what is left from the giant pile up under here. But yeah, I got to get to uh, cleaning. Maybe one day, eventually, I will transition closets the way they're supposed to be. But this is what I'm up to. And it's Sunday, and I'm exhausted, and I'm tired. But hey, wanted to share. Hi. I am lying here post-Popeyes and post-Hall. And as I played back 
the whole portion of the video, I realized I had my TV on in the background of blaring. So apologies for that. I hope it's not too distracting. And then towards the end, my phone did something that totally threw off the audio from the video. So I looked like one of those old Godzilla movies where your mouth is moving but the words aren't matched up. So just a heads up. But anywho, here comes the hall part. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to be bald by the time I'm 60. Anywho, probably all the years of me wearing a headband and pulled my hair out by the roots. Anywho, okay, a lot of stuff and I have all these little snippets of video on my camera that I need to splice together to make a video, so I better shush and hurry up. Okay, now. Y'all heard me mention somewhere in this video that little dude and I had been at Dollar General and we'd been recording a whole bunch of stuff and then I dropped my phone and killed everything. Well, I still walked away with some clearance stuff. So a few little things, let me show you guys. Uh, their purple dots were 70% off. So this little basket, this little leather straps, this little basket was $1.60 and this larger one, no, $1.40 and $1.60. These little metal baskets and I had been wanting these this was regularly six dollars and the other one regularly four dollars and then they had a bigger one regularly eight dollars but I didn't think it would fit the area that I'm gonna use these in which is back here so um I got four of them I got those two and these two same size two of the smallest two of the medium medium ones so dollar sixty for one and a dollar forty for another and then I picked these up very similar to the ones that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for me and Tina's uh, mermaid makeup brushes. These are just a little bigger and they're sparkly. And what a coincidence, they're the same exact stinking colors that I purchased for me and for her at the Dollar Tree. But these were on clearance also, so these were 60 something cents down from two bucks. And that's all I picked up there. Uh, this was last week. So this is from last week and this week. Okay, so today I went to the 99 cent only grab some bread. I don't usually eat bimbo because it has kind of a funny flavor, but we're doing lots of grilled cheese. So once it's toasted, you really can't tell. Uh, I got a gallon of milk, which I need to put in the refrigerator. Um, let me tell you something about this milk. This is the Texas Blue Bonnet brand. The brand that 99 Cent only was selling was April Farms or something like that. That friggin' milk, I do get the 2%, but that milk can go weeks past expiration date and be perfectly fine. Very strange. What are these cows pumped full of? Because their milk does not go bad. A little scary, but it's also good because if you're not a big milk drinker, it tends to last. So I need to put that in the refrigerator very, very soon. I got some reusable wipes because my house is a dusty mess and I needed to dust. Along with that, I got some fakey pledge. I got the orange, not paying attention. Not a fan. I like lemon. Little dude found a jump rope and we went ahead and grabbed one because he is loving jump rope. It's one of his favorite warm ups at karate right now. He just gets so excited when he sees the jump ropes out and he really, really likes it. So, um, anything that encourages him to like keep doing something is awesome because all kids, like, if they are good at something, encourage them by all means. But my little dude struggles with um, coordination. He gets occupational therapy for stuff like that. But he struggled with jump rope. But friggin' karate just gives him such confidence. He can jump rope. I call him Baby Rocky. He loves to jump rope. So he wanted one for the house. So I grabbed him one of those. Found some Nutri-Grain Blueberry Soft Grain Bars. I love these for a dessert with a glass of milk. Yummy. I found these. And the only reason I bought them was because... <laughs> These are like $7 at Walmart. They're the Aqua Spa Body Cleanser. This is in the Eucalyptus and Mint. I don't know if Target sells them, but I know Walmart sells these for like six something, seven something. They were a dollar. And the reason I bought them was because of the mint. Mosquitoes don't like mint. So I thought if we wash prior to going outside, maybe they'll leave us alone. And then they are getting kind of schmancy with their candles. And... I love the scent of peach. 
I found this Georgia peach for $2.99. Not everything is 99 cents. And it is awesome and clean. And pardon me if y'all heard it. I got allergies. So I got that. I got some Imperial Fakey Margarine. Although it is 28% vegetable oil spread as opposed to 70 something, 50 something, 70 something percent in the blue bonnet that I usually use. And I just had some with my Popeye's corn on the cob and I got, look at that, right on me. So I need to spray and wash that out quick. I got these fishbone cable organizers because god darn it, my purse is a mess with all my little earbuds and stuff. So I am going to wrap up my little cords in this and put it in the pouch that I usually keep all that stuff in. I found this Pictronic Skier charging cable. One for my size phone, one for little dude's size phone. We can charge them all in the same port and nobody leaves the house without the phone. I did not purchase my little guy a cell phone. He's nine. He doesn't need a cell phone. All he uses his cell phone for is YouTube. But his daddy decided he needed a cell phone. So he now has a cell phone. He didn't even use it. When he goes with his dad, he takes it, watches YouTube. When he's here at home, it's in his room. He didn't use it. Why? Because I entertain my child. We play games. We're out at the park. We do things together. My kid is not a screen baby. Not dogging anybody who allows their kids to use electronic devices. I get it. That's just what they like. But it doesn't hurt, you know, to get down on the floor and play with some dinosaurs and hot wheels with your kids. Uh, I found this flexible clamp. Um, do hickey for your phone. See, it wiggles. And a lot of you guys have been asking me for another cooking video. I have no idea what to cook. Uh, but this will clip onto my cabinet and then I can use it to get a good angle over the food that I'm chopping or cooking. I had one similar to this, but it was so big and bulky, I, I couldn't deal with it. It was huge and then it would hold the phone like that. Couldn't even hold the phone. So I'm hoping that this one is better. For $1.99, I hope it's amazing, but for $1.99, it might not be. I found some honey-made vanilla grams. Never seen these. I like vanilla. I like graham crackers. Let's give it a try. Um, okay, now the bigger stuff. Now, I am part of the 99 cent fanatic groups on Facebook, like I am part of the 90, of the Dollar Tree hauls video on Facebook as well, so we kind of watch each other and see what stores bring out, and this is one of the things that I was looking for. If you guys know I was in that closet. By the way, that closet cleanup yielded five trash bags and two boxes of me and little dude's clothes that we donated so yay but i did find that i had some spare shoes you guys saw that too so i got one of these for 3.99 these are more than that at walmart i found this shelf that everybody was going gaga and admittedly i wanted one too um on the 99 cent group it is a multi-level decorative wall shelf it was 5.99 and the reason i bought it and it's, it's this size exactly, like it comes out fully assembled from the box. And the reason I wanted this was for little dude's dinosaurs, for his Jurassic dinosaurs that he plays with, the ones he tends to play with more. I, I want him to have a spot for him, that way he's not searching in toy boxes and stuff looking for him. So I got that, plus I thought it would be a nice little display in his room. I am yellow. The more I move, the more my color changes. Sorry, I have the blinds closed. And then this. This lady right here. People are calling her Frida. It's not Frida. It's just some lovely Latina lady. Fell in love with this painting print when I saw it on the Fanatics group. And I didn't realize how bad I wanted it. I wanted it, but I didn't realize how bad I wanted it until I saw it. And there were only two left. And one lady already had both of them. And I was like, oh, are there any more? She said, no. And I said, I've been looking for her for a month. She goes, well, here, have one. I hope she fits in the frame. Oh, she's not going to fit in the frame. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> Isn't she gorgeous? People are calling her Frida, because I guess to folks she looks like Frida Kahlo. But she's just this beautiful senorita. She's gorgeous. And I had to have her. Had, had, had to have her. Beautiful. It's even prettier, like, in real life. She was $8, $7.99, so I had to have her. I hate this yellow. I'm sorry, guys. 
But let me move on. Uh, that was all the 99 cent only. Then I went to Dollar Tree today. And um, honestly, guys, I was going for just some things I needed for the house. Mainly this because I don't have any more. So I bought those. And then I saw that they had a whole display of nine lights. Now, Osball is a um, Purina Cat Chow Kitty. Um, but I'm going to see if he likes the nine lights. And then they had the soft treats. Ozzy loves all treats. It don't matter what brand. With treats, doesn't matter. Cat food is a little pickier. But for a dollar, I thought that'd be good to give it a shot. And then I found another one of these brass bottom, brass-ish bottom. Ah, my finger got on cut. Ew. A spatula flipper turner over. And got another one because the one I have, this is getting kind of gross and I can't clean it. And aesthetically, it's not very pretty in my jar over there that I am now keeping on top of my stove with all of my cooking accoutrement. Uh, so I got another one because, yeah, the little nasty on the end is getting on my nerves. I found these that the people on the Dollar Tree haul group are going gaga over. And I really can use this, guys. Uh, they're only a dollar. It's the Rust-Oleum Never Wet Multi-Surface Liquid Repelling Treatment. And the reason I bought them is because every year my poor grill in the back, I have a, a regular grill and then a smaller grill. They go through heck and back. I guess I could buy a cover. But in this area, anytime you put a cover over anything, I guarantee you when the season is up and you go to remove that cover, you're going to find tarantulas and you're going to find snakes. So I'd rather not cover anything. So I'm going to spray the snot out of my grill after summer with this. And I got two of them because they're freaking awesome. It's an awesome buy for a dollar. I bought these. Right away, oh goodness, right away I was reminded of my grandma. My grandma, may she rest in peace, used to have these little mat, these little bottomed type flip-flops. I think she got hers from Mexico. Somebody bought hers from Mexico. Um, anytime one of her friends went to Mexico, she'd have them bring her back chancletas, chanclas. And they had this rattany little bottom. And when I saw them, I'm like, Grandma. I have no idea if they're going to be comfortable, but they're my favorite color, and they remind me of Granny, so got those. Found some Hamburger Helper, because little dude loves this stuff. I bought this before I saw this, but I'm going to keep one at my desk at work. Um, these don't last very long anyway, but when you need a charger, you need a friggin' charger. And one of my friends um, sent me some chargers uh, not too long ago, and they still work, but <laughs> I have chargers all over the house, so I always need one. So I grabbed that one. These two first by the brand Rainier were a dollar at Dollar Tree, duh. These are like $5 and some cents at Walmart. Grab them if you see them. And then I got little dude some um, Batman fireflies um, because with his recurrence of strip, you know, he gets it so often, I just keep throwing away toothbrushes. So he's been strep free for a whole three weeks. So uh, three, four weeks maybe. So um, knock on wood. Anyway, um, so instead of sanitizing, I just throw them away and start fresh. There was one Dove Pink Rosa bar there and my mommy uses this and it smells like my mommy so I got her one because she loves Dove I got a sieve because the one I have has been shoved and manhandled into my drawer so much it is no longer good anymore uh, so I need this for chiles for salsa when you make salsa and when you liquefy your chiles you need something to strain them and I've been needing one so I grabbed that I found this thing so stinking cute. It is a sink it plunger for your kitchen sink. Because when you get a clog in your sink, do you really want to use your toilet plunger? No. I've never seen one of these. They're adorable. Grabbed one. 
Okay, and the next few things I'm going to show you were inspired by a lady on the 99 cent only um, group. She, hold on, <laughs> give me a moment. Okay, first of all, I bought this three set of shot glasses for this idea. Okay, I also bought this set of disposable shot glasses for this idea before I saw these and I preferred these. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I bought this little oil dispenser. I've already taken one of the shot glasses out of there and I bought this little thingy. Now, the lady on the 99 cent only had it set up on her counter. She filled this with uh, mouthwash and she had the little disposable cups stacked up. Hers were paper, but I thought these were a little classier, a little bougie. Um, she had these stacked up on there in paper, but I just thought this would be awesome. Mouthwash, your little glass, set up on the counter, bouginess at its best. Ain't it? I just love the idea. She totally inspired me. And I hope I can find her again because when I set this up on my counter, I would like for her to see it and see what she has inspired. But um, I'll on the counter and then I have guests. Did you shut me off? I better hurry up. I could put these on the side as well. But just for my own personal use, I thought that would be pretty. Um, and then the only other thing that I picked up was another big thing of palm olive. I prefer Dawn, but palm olive does the trick. So that is everything, and my phone is blinking at me, so I think my memory is dying. So thank you guys for watching this crazy, crazy, all-over-the-place video. I hope it uploads worth a hoot. But I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday, an awesome Sunday, and until my next go-around, if it rains, go play in it because I'm waiting for some rain. Um, until my next go-around, thank you guys for watching. I love y'all bunches. Bye.